Okay, now we're going to be using trig ratios to find the angle measure to the nearest full degree. So there's some terminology that, that you haven't learned yet. Uh, so if you're given that cosine A, cosine of the angle, A means the angle or the theta, is equal and they give you this decimal answer, uh, you need to figure out what the original theta is. So these are the steps. Uh, find A is by taking the arc of each side. And this is what the arc sign is. Arc cosine means the same thing as the inverse of cosine. So I'll show you what that looks like on a calculator. So on a calculator, this is what you'd be doing. You'd be typing in point, oops, let me clear that, 0 0.8387, and then I'm going to hit the up arrow key, it's like the shift key on most calculators, and see where it says cosine negative 1, that means the same thing as arc cosine, and some professors like arc cosine, some like this symbol right here, you click that, and then look at Look at what we have right there. We have 32.996, but if we were to round that up, let's go ahead and I'm going to, if you were to round that up, you get 33 degrees. So in this case, you're going to be taking the arc cosine of each side. So this is what that would look like. You would say cosine negative 1 of cosine A equals cosine negative 1 of 0 0.8387. Now, if you have a Texas, a T130, like we do in our classroom, uh, you're going to do it a little bit differently. You're going to hit the second button. Then you're going to type cos hit the cosine button. And then you're going to type 0 0.8387 and it will give you that 32.996 and a bunch of other numbers. So the angle degree measure is about, so I should put about 33 degrees. That's it. So if they said that this was sine or tangent, you'd do the same thing except for you would type second the sine button or second the tangent button and go from there. Okay, that's it on uh, finding the angle measure using the, the arc cosine, taking the arc cosine of each side. Here's another way we could have written that, by the way. So if you have cosine A equals 0 0.8387, you could also just write arc cosine, oops, cosine of cosine A. What that does is it cancels the cosine and it leaves the A, but then you'd also take arc cosine of 0 0.8387, and then A would remain on this side, and that's angle A is equal to, well, about 33 degrees. All right, that's it.